Hello, welcome to my review of the MDAT or D001, I think that's sometimes they call it. Um, mini DVR camera, quite compact, quite small, comes with a few variations of clips. I bought it solely for the use of using it as a bike camera, which it's um, didn't work very well unfortunately. So it has two functions. You can switch the power on there and then you can go straight to press the button once. Switch it on and you can see. So you switch it on. It's on blue, powers on, it flashes once to say it's ready to record. Okay, and when you're ready to go, you just press the button. And when it's flashing like that, it means it's recording constantly, or it should be. Press it again, it cancels. Then when you press the mode button, what will happen apparently, it will go to voice activation. Apparently it takes an 8D, um, 8 gig SD mini micro SD card. And there's your US mini USB to uh, connect up to your PC and charge it and retrieve your files. So it's date stamped, so when you do your video recording, you can see there's a time and date for your recording. So um, I got this off the good old fashioned eBay. I think it was about £10 I think and to be honest with you I don't even think it's worth that so I gave it six tries at recording I used it for commuting on the bike so to record some footage and um, let's switch that off okay. but unfortunately it just record randomly for a few minutes and just keep switching itself off and then start again I reset the device, I've reformatted it, I can't get it to stay on permanently. Um, it says if the SD card's missing that it will just shut itself off after 30 seconds, but that's not the problem. So that is not it. Um, people say that they lose SD cards, but I think what happens on some of these that actually you can miss the slot and it disappears inside the camera, then you need to retrieve it. So uh, that's the SD card that's in there, so we can pop it out. So you can see the size of the camera, which is there. So I won't be using this again, because it's a pile of poo. Which is a shame really, because the few recordings I did get weren't too bad. And you get this effect called roller shutter effect. You may get it on some, you may get it on your cheap mobile phone sometimes and you tilt the camera backwards and forwards and the whole thing sort of shutters up backwards and forwards. Um, yeah, so it's a shame really, because wasn't too bad. I don't think the number plates were really recognisable on the cars, but it was, it was good enough for what I needed. I had it clipped on my jacket, which was quite good. It was hard to get the angle. The only other thing I didn't really like about it, it was almost zoomed in slightly on the recording footage. It wasn't sort of like a true distance of what it should be. So there you have it. So this is what I think of the camera. So I'll just show you there. Maybe you'd like to see what the insides of it look like. Ah, oh, there you go. Well, there's the rest of it. Well, that's it really. Where's the rest of it gone? Ah, oh, there we go. Yep, it's a pile of poo. That's what I think of you, mini cam. There you go for buying inferior cheap crap. Thanks for watching my clip.